Hey, what's going on guys? It is last the year and welcome to episode number 17 of Crespo's Creations. We are getting very, very close here, lads, to finishing the series. Uh, so I just want to say thank you so much for the previous support that you guys have left. If you could do the same this episode, let's say 2,000 likes, that would be epic. And if you guys are looking to buy any Ultimate Team Coins, then check out the fifashop.co.uk and make sure you use that code LA5TY to get yourselves a nice 5% discount. So, this is the squad. I've moved Crespo over to the right-hand side. Thought I'd try Aguero over on the left. It's looking pretty tidy. Uh, so we've got that combo of Messi, Aguero, and also Crespo as well. We go into our first match against a strong-looking Premier League side. Lots and lots and lots of pace. Now, I do apologise. Still trying to get over this cold, and it's really not going well. So I apologise if I sound all snuffly and stuff like that. Uh, I am trying as hard as I can to speak as normal as possible. And right at the start of this match, you can see we give away a complete and utter AZ penalty. Nothing I could do about that. I just don't understand it. You watch the replay here, you'll see that um, whatever his name is, the Brazilian dude, my left back, he just sort of impact engines Eto over. Like right there, he just stands up. Eto falls over him and a penalty gets given. But luckily for me, as the guy's stepping up to take it, Something's happening and he's either lost connection or he's decided that um, he doesn't want to play anymore. So within a few minutes, he loses connection and we sort of take the win. I don't know. I don't know if that counts as a win or not. But I decide to go straight back into another match because that one's got no highlights for you, has it? And we come up against another very, very strong Premier League squad. This is all we seem to be coming up against. That and the Bundesliga right now. Uh, and we go into this match... Fairly confident, you know, our team is very, very good. Aguero getting through in the fifth minute and takes a shot, lovely save from the keeper right there. Um, but from the corner, Di Maria whips it in near post. Look how much space Crespo's got right there. 1-0, five minutes in. A lovely, easy, easy header into the back of the net. And we do go 1-0 up quite quite simply. Um, some lovely dummy work and stuff there from Aguero, but Cre uh, Crespo just can't find it through to, I believe, Levetsi or someone. He does get through, but a lovely save from my goalkeeper right there, keeping us in the game at 1-0. Uh, Aguero then dummies it, gets quite lucky on the rebound from the defender, uh, and I'm thinking, what the hell do I do here? And I absolutely do two defenders with a Berber spin or a stop and turn, whatever you like to call it, and within 21 minutes, we go 2-1 up, and that was a nice little goal from Aguero, something that Palacio just couldn't pull off for this squad, uh, and so we're so happy to have Aguero in this team right about now. He does take a shot with Asaidi just wide. This guy was very, very good on the ball, but he did, he was he made some rash challenges, you know, like he he took shots from too far outside the box and stuff like that, and it just didn't quite work for him. We have a fairly, fairly solid defence, and um, it could be, you know, it was told, because as you can see there, he looks to be the better player, but our defence is keeping us in it, and we're also taking our chances, which is great. Uh, into the second half, then, he does make sure uh, he starts to apply the pressure even more, getting some attempts on goal. He does get through here with uh, Aruna Kone, out strengthening, out pacing my defenders, but again, keeper saves me right there. Really, really proud of him. Crespo gets through but just can't take the touch. So we can't make it 3-0 right now. Crespo again is through. Plays it back to Di Maria who just sort of slots it wide. Pretty poor. In, to be fair, in the second half, I didn't have much of the play. It really was down to this guy. Uh, Messi getting a little bit free. Decides to take the shot but a good save from his keeper right there. And then I thought, okay, we'll make it 3-0 here. Crespo takes one too many touches and the keeper does manage to save. So... This game is going to end itself at 2-0. We get a goal from Crespo and one from Aguero as well. So that's pretty epic. Obviously, we're not paying ourselves anymore. We're not saving up for anybody else. Um, so I'm just sort of running down the series. Now, I'll play a few more games just so that we can actually use Crespo for a bit. Uh, and then I will wrap the series up and start with a new one with a new legend. So drop a comment down below who you would like me to uh, use for the next series. Just name it any legend, sort of a striker or an attacking midfielder or something. Someone that's going to guarantee us to get a lot of goals. Now, we do come up against this guy. Solid looking uh, BBVA squad. Not, not too many of the big hitters. Uh, but I tell you what, just watch what happens. Two minutes in, he goes 1-0 up. And I'm just like, oh my god, how did that ball go through? Um, seven minutes in, he's through with Koke. I can't catch him. Slots it home, 2-0. And I'm just like, Jesus Christ, what the? F what, what is going on? 
Um, 19 minutes in, crosses it in. Vargas out jumps one of my defenders, makes it 3 0. And I'm like, whew, uh, can't really cope right now. I'm getting very, very stressed. And to add to that, 22 minutes in, he is 4 0 up against me. I have no idea what's going on. This guy was absolutely tearing me a new one. Um, so I do decide to try and apply some pressure. We get a nice ball over and Aguero doesn't manage to slot it in to the back of the net. Uh, a good ball through from Crespo right there to sort of bring back that deficit just a little bit. And as we go into half time, as you can see, absolutely demolished by this guy. He was really taking his chances and he was a solid, solid player. Uh, second half then, we really decide that there's nothing to lose. Time to add a bunch of pressure onto this guy. Uh, and we did have a lot more of the play. Lovely ball from Aguero and a solid finish there from Di Maria in the 83rd minute. 4-2. If we can get us another goal, we've got some definite chances of uh, tying this game up. And in injury time, Crespo gets through, slots it home. That is 4-3. But... Unfortunately, it was just too late. I think if that game would have gone on for another 15 to 20 minutes, I would have had it in the bag because I just applied so much pressure to the guy. But to be fair, he really took them chances early on in the first half. So we do end up losing this game. And I was going to end this series right here if we won it and if Aguero scored a few goals. But we didn't, so we will continue, you know. Um... We'll make sure that we get some goals with the with the players to end this series off on a win at least. So, this is the squad. It's looking pretty tidy, isn't it? Uh, is there any way that it can be improved? You know, I've got 20k in the bank. Let me know if there's anyone that I could possibly put in there. But Aguero then looking like that and Crespo on 48 goals and 9 assists in the whatever 20-something games that we've played. Uh, Messi then, six goals, eight assists in 14 games. Not too bad from a cam. So, if you've enjoyed, guys, I'd really appreciate it if you did drop a like. As I said, can we hit 2,000 on this one? Let's do it right now. Thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and I will see you next time. Peace.